We continue to follow the county update of the Board of Supervisors asking the State Department of Public Health to phase out the COVID-19 mask mandate for school kids. Concerned East County parents are now demanding answers. Ashley and Anthony Carnivale with their son Brighton joins us now with the latest. Good to see all of you three. How are you? Good, Good evening, Ginger. You. How are you? Good. I know you had a long night yesterday. You were at the meeting. So, Ashley, first, let's start with you. What was the outcome from the meeting last night? So, at last night's meeting, we were really thankful that they heard. They let us speak. They heard our voices. They also spoke to us in the morning, as we uh, shared yesterday. Um, but the outcome of the meeting was that although the district does have to allow the teachers to enforce the mask guidelines, they cannot take any sort of punitive action on our kids. So if our children are asked to wear a mask, they can decline if that is against their beliefs and they can continue to learn in their classroom with their peers. And I understand Brighton, I mean, you were literally in the middle of all of this because you were opting not to wear your mask and what happened to you? Um, 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 the f recently, um, um, she hasn't been getting me in trouble for not wearing my mask. Just these last couple days, but yeah. did you want to share? Last week you did get in trouble, right? Yeah, last week I got in trouble for not wearing my mask. You got in trouble for not wearing your mask. I mean, even saying that out loud is pretty hard to understand. What kind of trouble did you get in? Well, it wasn't that severe because it was just like... Um, I lost a table point for my table, but that was all. But you want to explain that what that means for your other classmates at your table? Yeah, that means they also um, didn't get the thing because of me. Wow. Like wow. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, Anthony, you were really amazing because I remember you talking to our reporter, Teresa Sardina, yesterday, and I really loved what you said about the the Department of Education and our rights in California under those guidelines. Discuss with me a little bit about that. Yeah, so the students last week in, in our district, in the Grossmont Union High School District, uh, a lot of them decided that they were done with masking. I think it may have been prompted by the uh, governor at the football game recently. Uh, and the teachers, even our sup uh, district superintendent said, we weren't expecting just out and out defiance from the kids on the masking. And so the teachers didn't know what to do with it. Um, so they were treating it as a punitive thing, uh, threatening suspension, threatening marking down kids' uh, citizenship grades, marking down their actual grades, taking away um, extracurricular activities. Absolutely. I mean, it, it ran the gamut. Yeah, marking them absent. Uh, on Friday, I called to pick up my uh, sons early from their middle school and the uh, office said, well, we don't even have a record of Carson being here today. He's marked absent, which is, mm. you know, safety concern. So the teachers were, uh, you know, kind of uh, flailing about trying to figure out how to gain compliance. And what our message to the district was is, you know, three things can be true at once. You can enforce the mask guidance because the state has threatened all of your funding. If you don't, we understand that. You can obey the law and you can also have children in, in the education code and, and federal law that gives kids a right to be in-person learning. Uh, and you can also have kids sitting in their seat in their classrooms who aren't masked and learning. Um, so these teachers can ask the kid to wear a mask. If the kid refuses, you know, their job is done. They can check the box. And in the unlikely event, a county uh, health officer or state health officer comes into the classroom and asks why Johnny isn't wearing a mask, they have, you know, a manifest or something that can uh, show that the teacher was doing their job and enforcing the mask mandate. Uh, so today, all three, three of our kids went to school, didn't have to wear their masks. And from what we've heard from both principals of both schools, the message is going out to all of the teachers that, hey, you can politely ask the kid to wear a mask, but, you know, going into the punitive uh, realm if they refuse isn't uh, what the district is about. Pretty interesting that people can refuse to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a classroom, but that mask is where the sure. punitive elements start to come into play. Well, we're, of course, going to continue to follow this case, so thank you so much for your time tonight, folks. Thank you, thank Ginger. You. Have right. a great night. You too.